Cycling is a team sport, but the teams compete at different levels and in distinct categories that govern their eligibility for the most prestigious competitions. Cycling teams are divided into three categories. World Tour. The World Tour is the top division in world cycling. Only 18 teams compete in this category. Pro Tour. Then we have the Pro Tour teams. The second division is also comprised of 18 teams. They can take part in all second division races and certain major competitions as well. Continental. The final professional division includes the continental teams. They are 161 of these teams. They have lower budgets and are eligible to compete in second division races. To establish rankings, a world ranking system has been implemented which awards points to teams based on their wins, races and the finishing places of their riders. Every three years this ranking is reset to zero and the Pro Tour teams who have won more points than the World Tour teams are promoted to the first division. Here are the three teams that finished on the podium in 2022. The Dutch team Jumbo Visma, the British team Ineos Grenadiers, and finally the Sudel Quickstep team. Types of riders and examples. Not all riders in each team have the same physical strengths, and so there are several key categories of riders. Climbers. Climbers are those riders who try to win the Tour de France and other three-week races. Climbers show their strengths in hilly stages and can easily climb the most challenging mountains. Here are five riders known for their climbing prowess. Tadej Pogacar, Egan Bernal, Jonas Vingegaard and Primus Roglic. Sprinters. Sprinters are fast and powerful. These riders are at home on flatter stage and show their strengths in the last 300 meters as they try to win a stage. Here are some examples of sprinters, Caleb Ewan, Arnaud Demar, and Jasper Philipson. Punchers. Punchers are key riders who are an ideal combination of climber and sprinter. Their favorite terrain is difficult and fast hill sections. Here are four renowned punchers, Wout van Aert, Mathieu van der Poel, Benoit Cosnefroy, and Thomas Pitcock. Rulers. Rulers are riders who put the team ahead of their own glory. They position themselves in the front of the peloton and protect the climbers, sprinters and punchers from wind so that the specialists can conserve their energy for key moments. Examples of rulers include Filippo Garner and Eduardo Affini. How do you identify the riders? These riders, whose names have been mentioned above, are easy to spot in the peloton thanks to certain mnemonic means to have. Bibs. Every rider wears a bib with a number on it. Bibs are visible from footage taken by helicopters. The numbers are not assigned at random, but rather easily identify an important rider. The team leader will always have a bib number that ends in 1, so 1, 11, 21 or 31 for example. Piping and jerseys. The second distinctive sign to look out for is piping and special jerseys. The winner of a national championship wears a jersey with the colours of their country's flag for one year. But after this year has ended, the rider reverts to wearing a classic jersey with piping on the collar and cuffs. This piping identifies a rider who has been a national or world champion.